hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be doing three easy to tie unconventional gele styles uh, the unconventional gele style is supposed to be something very easy for you to tie by yourself or for your friend but before we go into the video proper i just need to warn you guys the quality of this video is not as good as my previous videos i had some audio issues so i just had to record the way i could i hope you enjoy the video and i hope i get to read your comments and your thoughts so welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be taking some unconventional baby styles i've i've had um, a couple of people ask me when i'm going to put up a few of unconventional baby styles so that's what we're going to do today so i'm going to do a couple and um, i'm going to be using I'm going to be using the regular three layered gele, not the four layered one this time around. So that it's not too wide or too long. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by forming some pleats. I'm going to form a couple of pleats and place on my head. Or before placing on my head rather. And I need to ask her to hold it down by her hair. So this first style I call the twist. It is very easy to tie. You basically just form a couple of beads on your head or your client's head. Hold it down by your hair. just fold it this hair and like the way we tie our regular gilet. I'm just going to cross it at the back. If you are watching my video for the first time, I'm going to link other videos above so that you can go and watch it and understand how to cross your gilet at the back. Now, I must say that when you're going to tie the unconventional jelly, it's very, very advisable that you have a box of pins somewhere around you. So most of it, most of the styles you are going to tie with it, or I'm going to show you after, it's going to need pins. So what I'm going to do now is, what I'm going to do now is, this flap here, I'm going to twist this or roll it, whichever word is uh, comfortable for you. I'm going to roll it like so to the end and bring it round that head. Twist it as well. Like I twisted the first one. Okay, I'm going to twist it as well. I'm bring it on top of this one. Take one or two pins to 
hold it down. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the twist. Next, I'm going to tie what I personally call the peacock shell. So, I have my four layers already. Okay. And I'm going to have her open down by her ears. Cross it at the back. My are going to look like this. I'm going to have her hold this down for me here. Just so that I can arrange this side. So I'm basically just going to 
arrange this side. If you are new here and you haven't seen any of my other videos, please go and watch them after watching this one so you can understand how to arrange, how to do basically everything that seems like I'm not explaining for the here. So, once I have my pleats neatly arranged on this side, I'm going to get ready to tie. I'm not going to make everything else at the back pleats. Yeah, and I'm going to take this from my middle and then arrange one more time just so that I can get every pleat in place. Be careful, try not to lose any pleat. Once I'm done, I'm going to take this from here. All the way to the back and tie at the back. Tie firmly and not tight. Okay, so the next cell is what I would like to call the pickup with a twist. So it's like a fusion of the first two styles that I tied just now. So we're going to start off with our feet again. We're holding it down. Sorry. Okay. So. So for this one, you're going to make one side just slightly longer than the other. Now only number one, thank you. Sorry, second time. Oh, sorry. 
Then we're going to twist at the back. Now we're going to start forming layers with this flap all the way to the end. This particular style was requested by a client of mine and I had to teach myself how to practice on how to style it. So I have four layers here. I'm going to ask her to hold it down. I got this one. Thank you. Let's hold it down here. Then I'm going to try to manually create my layers here. I'm doing that because I'm using, I have to hold down with my right hand on this side, which is a bit difficult for me. So I have to improvise by creating the layers manually here. Don't worry, you can still do that and get your layers neatly. Remember, this is um, an unconventional style for a reason. It's supposed to make things easy for whoever is tying it instead of the difficult multi-layered thing. So once I have this, like this, I'm going to I'm going to bring this one here and twist it like we twisted it in the first gilling. So I'm going to twist it like so. All the way to the end. I'm going to take this, remove the hand, please hold this one. I'm going to take this and make sure that my layers are still intact, especially the first four ones, and sponge it all together like this. Then I'll take my twist here to here. And hold down this first part with a twist. Then I'm going to tie it round. I'm still using the twist. I'm going to roll it around that one, like I'm making a knot with it. Just once is enough. And then I tuck it in here. If this is too big for you, you can pin it down. just to make it a little bit cute but the idea of the oval style is for you to have this flap up here so 
there you have it. So there you have it. That's the end of this particular gele style. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.